What's going on, everybody? And I have a quick New York Giants roster update for the team as the Giants have signed a defensive tackle to their practice squad and they have re released a reserve cornerback in the process. Today, the New York Giants, after they got the news yesterday about defensive tackle Nick Williams being placed on injured reserve with the torn biceps, the New York Giants today, they signed a very familiar face to Wink Martindale's defensive system back in Baltimore as the Giants today signed third-year defensive tackle Aaron Crawford, who was last on the Baltimore Ravens in 2020 before he was released off their practice squad at that time. The 6'1", 315-pound undrafted free agent back in 2020 from North Carolina was once named an honorable mention as an all-ACC player back in 2019 where he recorded nine tackles for a loss and 31 stops and ranked fifth amongst all defensive tackles in Power 5 conferences. This is what Aaron Crawford did back in his North Carolina days. And like I mentioned, he was an undrafted free agent from the Baltimore Ravens back in 2020. So obviously he knows a lot about Wink Martindale and his defensive system. And in a corresponding move today, the New York Giants, they released cornerback Ole Jaw Griffin from the D practice squad. So Ole Jaw Griffin now is no longer part of the New York Giants practice squad anymore as they try to make room for Aaron Crawford. And he's going to be a guy that the Giants might have to count on in terms of him coming in and playing some snaps overall. In terms of Aaron Gra Aaron uh, Crawford's stats that he had, he was only playing in 2021, he only played in one game. 2020, he had one assist tackle and that's pretty much it this guy's pretty much just been a guy on the practice squad but now because the fact that the Giants are so short on bodies at the defensive tackle position because they lost DJ Davidson the sixth the fifth round rookie from Arizona State to a torn ACL back in the game against Green Bay and now the New York Giants have lost defensive tackle Nick Williams to a torn biceps. The Giants need bodies right now at the defensive tackle position. And this is where a guy like an Aaron Crawford can come in and possibly try to help out this New York Giants team as some reserve, you know, as a reserve defensive tackle to help get some contributions for this team going forward. So that's just the news I wanted to give you guys this morning. The Giants have officially signed. Defensive tackle Aaron Crawford, a former undrafted free agent back in 2020 from the University of North Carolina, and obviously has some experience playing under defensive coordinator Wink Martindale back in Baltimore at the time. And in a corresponding move, the New York Giants have officially released cornerback Ola ja Griffin from the practice squad in this case. And obviously, some moves I didn't record yesterday. The Giants have officially activated offensive lineman Shane Lemieux from the injured list. So Shane Lemieux's 21-day window to get activated to the Giants' active roster starts today when the Giants return to practice after their bye week last week. So Shane Lemieux is now part of that 21-day window. The Giants obviously have a few guys that they did designate for return. One of them being... Uh, Nick Gates, who returned a couple of weeks ago, as well as Ellerson Smith. So it's two players right now that have been designated for return for the Giants. I believe it's up to six players that could come back with the designated for the return designation. And the Giants also have Matt Paert and Rodarius Williams that are also part of their 21-day window to try to get activated. And if they don't get activated, they will be placed on season-ending IR for the rest of the season. And then obviously you have a couple of other players like Ben Bredesen as well as Evan Neal who are also going to be designated for return from the injured list because of the fact that both of them got injured during that game against Jacksonville. So Giants are going to have a lot of reinforcements coming back, especially from that offensive line, which Nick Gates just coming back. And you got Matt Parrott, you got Evan Neal, you got Shane Lemieux, and you got Ben Bredesen. All four of those guys are going to be designated to return within the next few weeks. Just have to find out who is actually going to make it back and who isn't. But the Giants are about to get a lot deeper on that offensive line going forward. And of course, Rodarius Williams is another guy that's going to be 
designated for return, and he's just to be a guy that probably is going to make his return to the New York Giants secondary in the coming weeks. And then, of course, you can't forget about Xavier McKinney, who was just placed on the reserve non-football injury list last uh, a couple yesterday with, of course, that unfortunate ATV accident that he got into yesterday. So that's just some of the New York Giants news I wanted to give you guys today. The Giants have signed defensive tackle Aaron Crawford to the practice squad. And in return, they have, in a corresponding move, they have released cornerback Olaja Griffin from the practice squad going forward. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button below. Sub up if you haven't already to NYGJeffyT85 for more breaking news updates and chatter surrounding the New York Giants. It's roster chatter. Turn on the bell for notifications on the next video or short that will be dropping on the channel surrounding the New York Giants. And let me know in the comments section what you think about all the roster moves. A lot of roster moves happening with the New York Giants. Whether it be Giants signing Aaron Crawford to the practice squad. Releasing Ole Ja Griffin from the practice squad. The 21-day designation to return for offensive lineman Shane Lemieux. As well as Rodarius Williams and Matt Parrott. And of course... The possibility of Ben Bredesen and Evan Neal, those guys going to have a designated for return in the coming weeks as well for the New York Giants going forward. So a lot of roster moves, a lot of roster tinkering for the Giants as they get ready for their game this Sunday against the Houston Texans coming off their bye week at MetLife Stadium. So I thank you very much, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday morning. Take it easy. And of course, as always, let's go New York football Giants. Together blue, everyone.